Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering the species known as Ackley. They made their first appearance in Star Wars Episode Two, and they stand slightly over 10 feet tall on six legs and have green colored skin, also having three yellowish tinged eyes. Ackley originate from the planet Vendaxa, which is known to have one of the most dense and lush ecosystems in the galaxy. They're considered to be an amphibious crustacean with many reptilian traits as well. I just personally always thought they looked like a giant praying mantis with very large teeth. Now on their home world, they typically lived in water but could also come up on land. They're protected by a hard outer shell with bony protrusions on it. And typically they walked on the tips of their six legs which had skin covered claws on them. These legs also exhibiting grappling hands at the joints. As I mentioned earlier, they had a mouth full of razor sharp and very long teeth, and they also used an organ beneath its chin to sense the body electricity that their prey gave off, and this would lead them to it and help them spear it with their pointed legs. When doing this, they could eat to their heart's content because they had an expandable stomach and more of a soft type of underbelly. Acklays are exclusively carnivorous animals that are well known throughout the galaxy for their vicious predatory traits. A fact which their most popular land-based prey called Limne could attest for. Ackley would typically come onto the land to hunt these things during the day since they were nocturnal and always sleep during sunlight hours. The ferocious nature of Ackleys led to them quite often being used as killer beasts in execution arenas. A well-known example of this being the Petronaki arena on Genosis. In the species' first appearance, it was one of the beasts used to attack Senator Padme, Anakin Skywalker, and Obi-Wan Kenobi by the Confederacy of Independent Systems. The Genosian Picadors, or more simply known as Handlers, steered the Ackley towards them, and it honed in on Obi-Wan Kenobi. And although it's just a simple-minded beast going up against a Jedi Master, it put up a very good fight, displaying its massive strength as one of his strikes broke the chains that were binding Obi-Wan to the pillar, and another strike actually knocking over the stone pillar itself. It easily brushed off multiple strikes by Obi-Wan with a spear as it stabbed at the Jedi leaving huge pockmarks in the hard pressed sand of the floor of the arena. To give credit to that arena accolade, it would have been a very uphill battle for Obi-Wan if it wasn't for Kenobi getting his hands on a lightsaber once Mace Windu's assault team arrived. From that point, Obi-Wan disabled the accolade by cutting his legs off and finishing him off with a down thrust once it was on the ground. It's also noted that Ackleys were around in the Petronaki arena during celebrations for the eve of Metgen and Pago the Lesser's homecoming. They were chained up beside animals called Reeks while Pago gave his speech about the Stalgassen Hive's involvement in the building of the Death Star. Now due to their abilities and their influence on the Star Wars universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give the Ackley species a rating of 5, which is an enigmatic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.